Hello lovelies, it's Chi here from God and Third Terror and I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message finds you blessed and full of abundance as always, my sweets, okay? So let's go ahead and jump in and find out what spirit has for you, okay? And I just want to say, right before I sat down to record this, outside of my kitchen window over here, there's a Luna moth that just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> I just, I looked over there and I turned around, I put down my cards and I turned back and it was just sitting there. So... If that's a spiritual guide for you or if that's a spiritual confirmation for you in some type of way, I felt really guided to share that. So would you have a Lunas Moth energy, okay, guiding over, residing over this reading? So um, that's just the kind of energy. Yeah, I think it's funny that we're doing the, the Lunar Tarot here, you know, the monology cards. Okay, so... Let's find out what energy spirit wants to talk about today. What we got going on? How are you guys doing? So I'm hearing healing family lines, hearing generational family lines. Okay. So definitely with the moth energy for me, moth energy is big. Um, new beginnings here. Okay. Um, pulling yourself out of I'm hearing correcting a mistake an ancestor is here watching over you because I was just about to say for me moths are a big ancestor vibes okay oh wow yeah it's just over there it's just like spreading its wings out like slowly just like, <laughs> like okay so um yeah so I feel I feel like this is a big energy here of like your ancestors reaching out, guiding you, telling you that they, you know, that you are, you know, look at the big picture. Yeah. So they're asking you to step back, look at the big picture. That's a brand new beginning that you're issuing in here for generational lines, generational family. Okay. It's you're really releasing this negativity. Okay. So you're purging this energy out of your ancestral line. And I was hearing you and your loved ones are safe. So this, this ancestor is saying that they're coming forward to help protect you because there's some kind of energy here of you undoing a mistake that an ancestor made. Okay. Um, that your commitment is being tested. So this ancestor was cut, was tested and they feel like they fail. Okay, they were told that their prosperity lied ahead, going down a particular path or choosing a particular, you know, it could be a business idea or it could be a particular path, something they had a really hard time believing that this would come into being. I'm seeing the have faith in your dreams card, okay? And um, yeah, so they had a really hard time stepping into their North Node energy. This past ancestor could have been a Taurus, okay? Or they could have had a Taurus North Node, okay? I'm really being guided. Yeah, they were being promised a brand new beginning. They were being asked to step out of their comfort zone, to step into their destiny, but they had a really hard time believing that it would be possible. Um, they had a really hard time thinking that they would be comforted and be safe and be supported, and be taken care of by the universe they had a real lack mentality they just needed like constant confirmation and spirit was like trying to tell them you know so they're saying like how you talk to yourself how you believe in your dreams and um who you allow to make you feel like certain ways about your dreams okay so there is this kind of energy here of like being careful who you share your dreams and your manifestations with um because the spirit the spirit guide this ancestor is coming forward to say that they had somebody in their life that very much so stoked up their fears okay and that they had this kind of fear energy that they were unable to to raise above Okay, and I'm really getting here. See how it's like the six of pentacles energy and there's a, a youth on one side, like a young person and like an older person on the other side. And I feel like this older person is your ancestors coming forward to be like, look, let me pass on this little, this piece of information, this, you know, so that you can see like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give you this you know, this knowledge and this wealth of knowledge that I had that I refused to use or that I refused to step into because devil energy, yeah, four of pentacles. Like I sat on the truth. I sat on this business idea or I sat on this, you know, I knew that it, that spirit was telling me that this was going to be huge, that this was going to change my life. This was going to change my family's lives. And I decided not to act on it. I decided to, you know, to hermit. You know, I decided to keep it to myself or I decided to not share it or to not step up and follow like my true North Node energy. Ace of Cups. I had an Ace of Cups moment here. Like I had a chance to really 
to really rejuvenate us is what I'm hearing to really bring about a higher vibrational timeline that came about for our, you know, for us, you know, spirit was trying to work with me, was telling, was sending me spirit guys. They were sending me, you know, soulmates, energies and things that I was supposed to collaborate with. And I just refused to, I refused to see the truth, you know, but they're like, I don't want you to make the same mistake that I did. I don't want you to make the same like choice to keep yourself small or to not believe in your dreams, you know, to not be guided by your fears. So this ancestor is saying that they're here to help guide you. Yes, to help give you confidence, okay? And to tell yourself, you know, like, it's okay. You can do it. Have this faith and this belief in yourself because prosperity lies ahead. Um, we're here, you know, guiding you, helping you to, um, you know, to bring about this outcome that was supposed to, this blessing that was already supposed to befall into our family. And this person is like, I rejected it or I didn't, you know, I didn't fall. I didn't allow myself. The answers you need are coming. So if you're wondering, like, what is this? Like, what am I supposed to be doing? Exactly what I'm supposed to be doing? Like, your ancestors are here to tell you, just have faith, okay? Walk forward in faith. Take care of yourself right now. Give to yourself, okay? Take a deep breath out. It's okay, right? Take time out to breathe. It's okay. You're going to find your way. You're going to be guided that way. Don't allow your fears to overpower you. Don't allow the fears of, of feeling like you'll fail or feeling like you're not good enough to allow this to happen, Okay? You know, don't allow your fears to stop you from taking action, okay, and to making that change or to making that, you know, to really just, you know, one step at a time, one step, one small step at a time every single day towards like reaching your goal is going to make a huge difference, Spirit is saying, and it's going to just help like change up, um, change up energy. Yeah, spirit is encouraging you to show the world the real you. Some of you feel like whatever this is, it's like people won't appreciate me for doing this or people won't appreciate me for being who I am or for standing up or for, you know, I'm afraid that people will reject me and will not love me. And spirit is saying, don't, <laughs> please don't feel that way because you are uniquely you and you're meant to. You are meant to be exactly the person that you are. You are meant to have all the unique quirks and differences and things that you have. The very thing that you feel like is going to have people reject you is actually going to be exactly what makes you is exactly what gets your certain um people that really are supposed to flock to you people that are supposed to come to you or you know your soul tribe and everything like that being uniquely you is going to put out that vibe it's going to attract the people that you're really supposed to have in your life so don't be scared to step into and be an embrace and be who you really are your spirit guides are in your ancestors sorry they're saying very specifically their ancestors. They're already saying you're doing a much better job than they did. You're already being a lot more bold and a lot more courageous than they are, even if you feel like you aren't. Like Spirit is saying that you've taken 10 more steps than, than anybody else in your past and your generations before you in your past has recently. At least they're saying, you know, in, in the past, like several, several generations, you're already making like strides forward. So don't hold yourself back, okay? And understand that when you really that when you really show this world, you know, show and allow yourself to really be the real you, okay? You're going to expect a really powerful change in your life that you should expect things to change very quickly and to understand that this win-win outcome is forecast for you, okay? Exactly. So when you step out of your comfort zone and you step into your north node, which is your destiny, when you surrender to the divine, okay? Um you're going to be protected, okay? Here right? You and your loved ones are safe. Like you are going to be protected. You're going to be guided. Like they are saying that we were too scared or that we were, we not were able, we were not able to walk forward in faith and, you know, and believe in the impossible. We thought that it was impossible and we allowed our fears of that, the negativity around that to really hold us back. Our fears, hello, release your fears, work through your fear, release the negativity of these fears and allow this transformation, the scorpionic energy, okay? So spirit is saying that your hard work is already paying off all the hard work that you're putting into it, that conclusions are actually within reach, that you are being really close to drawing and closing out a karmic cycle that you've really been, that you've really been fighting against, like spirit is saying, okay? And that they want you to know that if people are trying to stop you or hold you back, that nothing is going to come from that situation, okay? And that luck is on your side, like, okay? So, exactly, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So, just know your dreams and your practical plan, right? That's that, making those small steps towards, you know, 
taking action, even if it's small action every single day, because this climax is approaching, like a tower moment is really approaching. So don't let your ego or your pride like get you down or get you like hung up in this situation because a new romantic cycle is beginning in your life. I really feel like you're going to have this energy of like falling in love with your life or falling in love with what you do. And Spirit says, as long as you're having faith in your dreams, like I said, look at all this purple energy. Like, that's crazy with this one. Look, and it's all this, like, really, like, purple, which is about, like, your royalty, your legacy, okay? Like, I really feel like this is, like, Akashic Records energy here, too, as well. So I feel like you're tapping not, not only into, like, your, your, your ancestral, like, um, like, your, I know the word you're trying to get me to say, Spirit. I'm just struggling to say it. Like your, like your DNA, your genealogical, like ancestry, but as well as your soul ancestry. So who you've been in past lives, what you've done in past lives, who you've been connected to, like on a, like on a soul ancestral level. Okay. As well as, a the bit the body and the family line the, the family lines that you were born into in this physical body as well so spirit is saying like the answers that you need as to what direction to go in as to how to be this it's all already inside of you like you know what you're doing you're tapping into this akashic records work here that you're doing right here okay yeah and the energy another purple card the energy is gaining momentum along that line okay and communication is key so how you talk to yourself and how you have faith and you believe in this is key and again they just keep on saying you and your loved ones are are safe you are going to be safe you your so if some of you are being are being like really scared about like oh if i step into this you know like how will i be will i be able to take care of myself will i be able to feed Will I be able to feed my kids? Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I thought I heard somebody on my front porch. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Um, well, you know, will I be able to feed my kids? Will I be able to pay my bills? Will I be able to, you know, will I make a fool of myself and just fall fat on my face? Like, you know, am I going all, all just the kind of like logical things around this? There's also, yeah, so there's this kind of like miraculous thing that's coming into your life, this miraculous event that's happening in your life. And yeah, and, no, and like spirit saying nobody's going to be able to stop it. Like nobody's going to be able to stop it. Like that's it. <laughs> you know, like it's in your life. You've made some kind of decision or you've passed some kind of karmic test or you've done some kind of karmic work here. What is that moth doing? Anyway, like, <laughs> like that you've done some kind of work here or you've done something here that is going to allow you to, to overcome. So whatever, like, like, like your spirit guide saying, you've already put in so much work on yourself. You've already put, you've already, you're already 10 steps ahead of, you know, taking 10 steps further than anybody has like in this inset in this genetic line okay so they're saying you know they're saying like no as far as like your soul your soul gene you know your soul ancestry of course like your soul ancestry you've done some pretty magical things in your soul ancestry but as far as like the family like bloodline that you're born into right now you're t you've taken 10 20 steps further than anyone else has been brave enough or anyone else has just had like they're just they're just straight up saying like had the balls to do like you are being so much more brave and things than a lot of other people in your family were being and it's just simply by being who you really are and not being scared not being scared and not being forced into conformity right you truly believing in yourself and you truly believing you know and not being scared to be the black sheep, not being scared to be the the odd person out, not being scared to really embrace who you really, really are. And, you know, and surrendering to like your divine plan that you see that, you know, that you see for your life, you see moving forward in your life. Okay. And because you're making that, you know, you're making powerful changes and, you know, this kind of like believe in the impossible energy that's here on the back of the deck, like, it's gaining so much momentum. 
Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, so that devil energy, that fear energy, right? It's trying to convince you, you know, that you'll never see, that you can never make it, that, you know, it won't make a difference, right? But you're overcoming this devil energy here. Because, again, with that, like, your commitments are being tested. Like, spirit is already saying, like, your past, like, your people in your past fell to some kind of, with this five of wands here, it's like infighting. It's like tearing people down, tearing each other down, keeping each other small, that kind of energy. You're already, already evolving outside of that energy. Yeah, you're putting that, you're putting that to rest. With this four of swords energy. You know, I even I even see like this person like meditating or doing like hypno hypnosis or maybe even like um Yeah, I feel like your soul does a lot of astral traveling like at night while you sleep as well. And you, you're doing a really good job breaking out of some kind of confusion energy, some kind of like multiple choices. This could have been choice, uh, like a choice in partner or a choice in, um, you know, are you going to walk in the dark? Are you going to walk in the light? Are you going to, you know, yeah, absolutely. Two of wands. Like which world are you going to stay attached to the old cycle or are you going to choose to walk in the light and choose to walk you know and choose to integrate your shadow and choose to you know walk in this awakened state and I really feel like you've already chosen that so spirit said that's a victory over something that you know there is a huge like there's a huge karmic payout here spirit is saying for you overcoming this devil energy because there's already there's already whether or not you because Spirit said some of you really struggle with, like, seeing, like, your goals, seeing that you've already accomplished things, you know, that you struggle to to be like, oh, wow, like, I, I, I really did that. Like, you, you constantly feel like you're not good enough or constantly feel like you're not trying hard enough or you're not being enough. You're not, you know, that kind of energy. And Spirit is saying, like, there's something inside of you that you're not even realized. There's already this, this huge devil energy that you've already faced, right? Three of Wands. Yeah, like you constantly keep yourself in like this waiting pattern or like holding pattern or something like that. There's something around like. You've been here in this hangman energy, I feel like. Yeah, but what you what but what you have what you have been neglecting to see spirit is saying, Oh wow, absolutely. Oh my god, I felt that energy so hard. Absolutely. What you've been neglecting to see is that you might have saw yourself as in a hangman energy, you might have saw yourself as hell as holding yourself back and doing this, but spirit said we paused you for a second, we paused you where you were so you could do this work, so you could see yourself, so that you could lay these seeds, so that you could see like you really are like you keep on waiting, right? You keep on waiting for your ships to come in, but spirit is saying like you've already actually like had victory over this. You know, you're whether or not you realize it or not, your garden has already been like your seeds have already been planted, your garden has already been weeded, deweeded, you know, your your the mulching and your aerating, you've already got out your you're cultivating your tiller and you've already stirred up the dirt and you've already planted the seeds and you've already been watering these seeds, you know, and you you know, these seeds have already been growing. Maybe without you even realizing it, okay? And you are cultivating this whole this whole beautiful garden here for yourself, even more so than I feel like the, you than you expect. And so I feel like, you know, Spirit said you're not you've not been in a holding pattern. You've been in a growing pattern.
And you might have struggled with seeing that accomplishment, of seeing the fact that it's like, wait, stop, take a second, <laughs> look around you, right? You have been, like I said, you know, you went into your garden and you pulled up all the weeds and you are, you know, learning, you're doing your studying and learning the different types of like plants and flowers and, and what's poisonous and what's not and what needs to flourish and what needs to grow. And you're doing the research on, on how, you know, you can plant these plants and these plants will help, you know, help these plants grow and these plants can, can help these plants. And, um, you know, you've been planting your seeds and watering your garden and doing all this. And you kind of, you might've been like, Yeah, so spirit is like saying acknowledge, acknowledge how much, you know, like how much work you've been doing, how much work you've been, you know, because like I said, your spirit guides keep saying like, my gosh, you're like 10 steps ahead of where where we thought you'd be or, or 10 steps ahead of where anybody else has gone in your family, like acknowledge, acknowledge how much work you've been putting in because what you've been doing is really about to start showing. You kind of, you might have been struggling with, with seeing with seeing the all the work that you're doing on the interior really reflecting on your exterior life but spirit said like you know you've been putting all of this you know like if you watch like abraham hicks that they, they're like you've been doing all this work to clear out to make you know to lay out your grid to put all of this energy and this wish fulfillment into your vortex and now spirit is saying you know expect a powerful change okay like this Queen of Pentacles energy. You're about to have like a big upgraded energy here. And look, Empress. You've been here growing your garden, turning into the Queen of Pentacles, turning into the Empress. And you, you've been blind to it. You didn't even see it. You were hit. Look, you, had, you were blindfolded, but you were hitting that bullseye the whole time. And like, there's something here about you not even knowing. You're not even seeing it. It could have been your spirit guides kind of having to kind of... I don't want to say trick you, but kind of like just get you to just go on, go on, go on. And then it, and then they're like, no, no, no. But look, look, look. It's like <laughs> it's it's something about like, you know how some some people like trick like a like a little kid into taking their medicine. It's like, oh, it's like, look, it's already happened. It's like, or like how, you know, like doctors and like nurses have like certain techniques to to distract little kids to like give them a shot or something like that, you know, and they're kind of like. Oh, this, 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 or that, 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 or are you paying attention to this? Are you paying attention to that? And the kid's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, okay, when am I going to have the shot? And it's like, it's already over with. I've already, we've already done it. You've already done it. And it's like, oh, wait, I did? It's like, yeah, you already did it. It's already over with. <laughs> and yes, yeah, something about here where spirit's like, now I already look around. You've become this queen. Look around. You've already, you're this empress now. And you're like, oh, I am. <laughs> um, yeah. And there's something here about releasing and not seeing yourself as who you truly are. Like they're showing me the moon card in this deck where it's like the cat looking at their reflection and not seeing who they really are. Yeah, but you need to go and you need to go hermit mode to really see this inside of yourself. Okay. Absolutely. Remember I said like you're sitting there like cultivating your garden, growing your garden without even kind of realizing that you were doing it. And that's so funny because like when I was taking this deck out of uh, out of its deck, like the like the guidebook like fell out and it felt and it opened up to the to the Hierophant card. And it was about learning how you know, every step that you take um, helps you to. Um, to manifest where you want to be and how this Hierophant energy is about taking what, you know, taking the work that's already been laid out before you by the people that came before you and making it your own. And I feel like that's definitely <laughs> that, you know, that's definitely like a huge energy here around this, you know, is that, that spirit is saying, you know, like your ancestors have been laying out this groundwork for you. You've been laying out this groundwork for yourself without even realizing that you were kind of doing, just kind of pushing through and kind of doing it, you know, and spirit is saying that it's time for you to really see the divine plan and everything that's been happening, you know, for you to understand that the spirit has been showing you at every turn that there's no need to have this fear, this doubt, or think that this is impossible, right? That it's time that you release the negativity of not seeing yourself do the work right? I'm not acknowledging, hello, Hierophant, 
without acknowledging how far you have come. Walk away, right? Walk away from this feeling of not being good enough. Walk away from this feeling of, you know, like... <laughs> page of cups it's it, there's something here to you about just kind of letting yourself go and run free and like you know start anew see how that person is just, they're not paying attention you know they're slinging paint around everywhere and they got paint all over the page and their cat has like walked all through the paint and all this other stuff and you know they're kind of they, they don't care they're just there just like doing their little work doing their thing you know making it away it might be messy along the way you know but it's okay nobody said it was it had to be perfect you know, you might have wobbled, you might have fallen off a few times, but that's okay. Yeah, through a sword, you dealt with some heartbreak along the way. Nobody said you were you had to be perfect. You know, you just had to be brave enough to really face that heartbreak. You know, and and you did. Spirit saying that you have been, you have been, you know, growing and changing so much, and you've been facing all this heartbreak and overcoming all this devil energy and trauma and and shadow energy and doing all this work on yourself. So acknowledge that acknowledge that you're being safe and you're being guided and you're protected and you know yeah acknowledge this truth here you are the magician you've been creating your reality you've been going upon you know been going along your journey you know getting all these tools to to manifest a brand new beginning for yourself and that's what spirit is giving you and your family line you know giving this generational family line like a brand new beginning here Six of Cups. They've definitely been working with you. Soulmate energies. Excuse me. Ancestral energies. Your higher self, your inner child, all of that has been kind of like conspiring together exactly to send you on, on a certain path, right? And you've kind of been sitting there like, which way should I go? Spirit's like, you know. You know what's way, what, which way is right for you. You've just been second guessing yourself, you know, have faith in your dreams, have faith in where you're being guided. Justice is coming for you. And the energy of this is gaining momentum. You know, the energy of this justice of all this hard work that you're putting on yourself, you know, it's coming for you here. And you have the two of cups with the nine of wands passionately coming in because you have three of pentacles, a soulmate contract here king of pentacles with your match i'm just saying okay <laughs> so your spirit guides are saying we've really been conspiring to get you to face your fears to face that drag you know to face that energy and to go and to do this you know Ten of Cups on the back of the deck. You got a lot of generate. Ten of Cups and the Emperor. Come on now. Come on now. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Empress, Emperor. Come on now. Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups, yeah, they're saying soften your energy. You're okay. Nine of Wands, they know you've been having to go through a lot of judgment energy, okay, that you've been having to go through a, a lot. You know, this Three of Swords, it, it puts you in a place. It puts you in a way, right? But they're going to be bringing connections and people around you that are really going to help you to get into this Queen of Cups energy if you just allow. Yeah, but you've been sitting on this for Pentacles, You're meant here to share and to guide. I'm getting that really strongly with this Queen of Cups and to share this information, to share how you got here, to share how you overcame, how you walked away from this. You know, but you got to go through it first. King of Swords, look, look how this King of Swords here has their sword and they're written down on it. They're writing like a book. Yeah, for some of you, that definitely could be what you're being guided to do along the way. You know, you could have a book, you could have a creative project, something inside of you, you know, a course, a lesson, you know, something. You got something. Yeah, 
you got something that you're birthed into existence here. Because you see that emperor, she's pregnant. Right? But it just means that you have to cut these ties from the past first. You know? One door has to close before the other one will open. And that's what you're doing. You're cutting this tie here, closing that door, and opening the other one. Mm -hmm. Look. And there's that moon card. You know, and a big, a big cord that you're cutting here, okay, is seeing yourself for the truth that you really are. You know, seeing yourself for the powerful being that you really are. Really having confidence in, in, in what you're going to create here. Two of Wands. And to have that confidence, just cut that past off. And choose, and choose the future. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so, um... What's the next steps here that that the, that they need to that they need to work on spirit? What are the next steps here? It is eight of swords. Get out of your mind. <laughs> get out of your head. Get out of your mind. Get out of your fears. Get out of anything holding you back, feeling, making you feel trapped. Okay, step back. Find peace. Find serenity. For some of you, meditation, yoga. You know, um, finding things that are going to balance you out, that are harmonize you. Yeah, I saw that eight of wands. Yeah. So if you've been feeling like you're in chaos or you're in conflict or like there's just been so much coming your way or, you know, this anticipation on this, like spirit saying step back, you know, take a couple of deep breaths. You're OK. You're making it. You're finding your way. And definitely see see how here, how this person is having to find a balance here. Because on one side is like cupcakes in a martini glass. And on the other side is like water and like carrots and like books. Oh, yeah. And then on one side is like a computer screen. It's like a, it's like a computer. Okay. And cupcakes and a martini. And on the other side is like a book, you know, and a glass of water and... A, so it's like finding this work play balance finding this balance between like treating yourself and doing what's right for your body do, um, finding this balance in between like disciplining yourself and allowing yourself to have freedom finding a balance between you know having boundaries but not having boundaries up so high between you know um, finding this balance between indulgence and restriction okay finding that kind of like balance between like this you know, this um, Saturn and kind of like Jupiter energy right within you, finding this balance between masculine and feminine energy within you, mostly finding a balance in between here, between indulgence and discipline is the big thing that's really standing out here to me is finding a, a balance in between indulgence and discipline. Definitely. And again, like I said, a big difference between work and play, indulgence and discipline. And I'm feeling really guided ooh, to look up this temperance card in here. Yeah, strive for balance in all things. Balance is possible to achieve, but keep strive. It's balance. It's impossible to achieve, but keep striving anyway. How do you how do you achieve balance in life? Our temperance, which would probably say moderation in all things, including moderation, and then smile that angelic smile because she has managed to achieve what for most of us is simply impossible. 
That doesn't mean we, we can't try, though. Striving for perfect balance is a never-ending task that requires both discipline and calm, along with the ability to go with the flow while staying rooted and strong. We never, <laughs> we never said it was easy, did we? Things to consider. Have you ever tried standing in tree pose? Okay, so for some of you, tree pose could be very grounding for you, okay? For most of us, the best we can hope for is to maintain it for a moment or two before we start to wobble. The key to this yoga to this yoga pose, much like the keys to life, are being rooted in the earth and in your own core. Uh, staying calm and composed and not struggling too hard. If the temperance card appears in your readings, it may be a reminder to reach for your inner strength and take a deep breath. Is it is your life out of control? Perhaps it is time to work on moderation and calm to make sure you are paying attention to all aspects of your life, work and play, time with others and time with yourself, striving and resting, indulgence and self-discipline. <laughs> Try to go with the flow and every once in a while, treat yourself to a cupcake. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. So thank you, Spirit. Absolutely. So exactly what we're getting right balance trying you know to not hold yourself to to a standard of perfection but to understand that you're always trying to be in the flow but hold a little bit of peace and calm and rooted energy okay and find a balance between you know going out with friends but spending time by yourself you know eating right but indulging every once in a while you know drinking plenty of water but going out and having a drink or two with your friends or whatever you know Whatever you're into, okay? <laughs> Everything in moderation, right? Including moderation, you know? Not spending too much screen time, but also not spending so much time, like, disconnecting to everyone and everything, right? So finding, striving to find this balance is going to be your number one um, goal that's really going, that, that you need to be focused on. If you need a particular goal to focus on, it's that, <laughs> okay? So if you're looking for like, what's the next step? This is the next step. That's what spirit is saying, okay? So make sure, again, that you're, that you're trying really hard, you know, that you're trying, but not trying too hard to find this type of work, play, indulgence, discipline, vibe in your life, right? So that you're not just, you know, that some days you allow yourself to sleep in, but you're not sleeping in every day, right? Some days you get up and you're working out and you're doing all that, but you're not doing, you know, but you're giving yourself rest days, you know, that you're paying attention to what you're putting in your body, both in, in terms of who you're spending time with, um, you know, what kind of substances or what kind of food you're consuming into your body, but also allowing yourself not to feel so starved, right? To starve for things, right? So yes, do what feels right, do what feels good, do what helps you feel grounded and rooted and staying in balance, okay? So when you feel those urges to do those certain things and you know that it's something that's going to balance you out, kind of listen to it, okay? And just kind of like spirit is just saying kind of, you know, live your life right now. Live your life, you know, and enjoy <laughs> and do the things that you love to do, you know, and um, find that moderation in your life right now. And it's going to lead you to some really great things like spirit is saying. So try to balance out living your life with also if you've been struggling with feeling like, oh, this is, I'm like an eternal project. Like I'm constantly having to do spirit work. I'm constantly having to have this, per that person trigger me about this or this, you know, I'm constantly having to do this work and it's feeling kind of, and you're feeling kind of overwhelmed. If you've been feeling that way, spirit saying, take a deep breath, take a step back. It's okay. <laughs> you know, you don't have to feel this way all the time. It's okay. You're allowed to enjoy, to indulge and just enjoy, enjoy life. But you know, don't, you know, don't completely fall off your path, but also don't become so restricted on your path that you narrow down your options and you narrow and that you forget to just live and have a good time and have fun, you know? So, yeah. Okay, my loves. Well, that's what I have for you. I hope this gave you the love, light, and clarity that you were looking for in your situation, okay? I'm very proud of you, okay? I just wanted to say that. I'm very proud of you. Your ancestors are extremely proud of you. Um, They are so happy. You know, they don't want you to feel overwhelmed. They don't want you to feel like, 
the weight of the world is on my shoulders, you know, that kind of energy. So they're saying if you've been feeling that way, take a, a couple of steps back, okay, take a couple of days off, you know, it's okay, just chill, just relax, it's okay. Take some deep breaths and you know then get back on it and then when once you get back on it don't get so on it that you're that you're just like climbing 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 and then you crash and then you're climbing 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 and then you're crash you know they want you to find you know where you're climbing and then you're resting then you're climbing then you're resting then you're climbing then you're resting where it's not so and it's just climbing resting climbing resting climbing resting where you can man, maintain a kind of upward mobility you know and you don't feel so much like you know that you just like are so strict on yourself for months and months and months on, on end and then you just crash and you like forget your diet and just start, you know, doing all kind of stuff and hanging out with, you know, you know, unnecessary people and I don't want to say unnecessary. I don't know what unnecessary, excuse me, or toxic people are participating in some toxic traits because you feel like you've been, you know, you've been starving yourself or, or um, yeah, like starving yourself, keeping yourself in poverty and things like that, you know, like never going out and never doing anything or you never reaching out or or always going out, never spending time by yourself, never having quiet moments, you know, never having time to unplug and just sit outside and like listen to the breeze blowing through the trees and stuff like that, right? That's really going to help you. So finding that balance is, you know, it's a whole thing, you know, but it's definitely going to help you right now. Okay. Thank you guys so very much. Okay, thank you to your spirit guides for guiding you here. I really appreciate you lovelies, all right? Thank you to my spirit guides for uh, helping me to deliver this message as well as keeping me safe while I do so. If you liked the content, give it a like, okay? Help me out, appreciate it very much. So thank you to my clients. Thank you to everyone who donates. Thank you for just you just being here. Um, if you are digging the vibe here and you wanna join the tribe, think about subscribing, okay? Or not, it's your choice, but I appreciate uh, appreciate it either way appreciate your time appreciate your focus for this little bit i hope it gave you what you were looking for okay let me know if this resonated for you down in the comment section down below all right and uh yeah i'm trying to make sure i <laughs> said everything i think i did yes yeah so spirit just wants you to know, to know like the end of whatever you've been fighting through okay you, it's ending this tough cycle is ending and you're going to come into a much more easier time this balance finding this balance is really going to help you a lot okay and spirit says we're going to be helping you to find this balance so okay also gratitude spirit saying having gratitude uh showing yourself gratitude being proud of yourself telling yourself you're proud of yourself telling your body that you love it and that you're proud of it and that you're proud of how far it's helped you come and how much it helps you you know like live and be there and be happy every single day you know show gratitude for the things that you have in life and um even more things to be grateful are just going to show up in your life okay thank you guys so very much all right and i will see you lovelies in the next one okay bye